Hi everybody, it's uh, Joe here from Data Analytics Ireland. We do weekly blog posts, live streams, and video tutorials on everything and anything data analytics. So today we're going to talk about Tableau and how to connect your data. Let's open up the program, see what it's all about, and see how we can incorporate this into your project. Right, so you've decided to uh, embark on your first data visualization project, um, and you're thinking of using Tableau. So Tableau is one of the one of the there's a number of them, but one of the industry leading products for data visualization, bringing your data, manipulating it, putting it into a form that you'd like for people and your users and your business colleagues to see and be able to understand the data better. So what we're using here is Tableau Public. So just to say to you before we proceed, um, Tableau Public is is a free version of Tableau. It does come up with limitations. Um, there are no connections. You can connect it to files, but there's a limited connections to servers. Now, what I will say to you is, there is a screenshot here. It should be on the screen, hopefully now, when you're looking at this, and that shows you with the upgraded version. So if you look here, you can upgrade. Um, with the upgraded version, um, as you can see, um, the basically the options for using different types of servers is a lot lot larger and uh, it's a lot better and obviously caters for a lot of different um, servers and databases that people are using so the objective today is pretty pretty much an induction you have your data and you want to basically connect to it okay bring it in and your first step is once you bring it in, then you can start working on using a very powerful tool that Tableau brings you, okay? So there's a couple of ways of doing it. Um, pretty much they all bring you to the same same endpoint. But along the left-hand side here, um, we have, you know, obviously when you open up Tableau, um, you have a number of different options. So you have Excel, right? So if we just go over here to Excel, there's a number of different, we should have Excel workbooks, yeah. So it's basically bringing uh, XLS, XLMS, and XL, XLNS, which are macro workbooks, okay? So they're the type of files potentially you could bring in. Also with text files, um, you can bring in CSV files, okay? Tab, DDMN files, or just regular text files. There is other options around JSON, access. Um, if you want to connect into your access, you have to go to the file name, database password, security, etc. So you need to get that from your security team in your organization or whoever who has the right um, properties for you to look at or give you access to the data. Okay. There is another option. Um, obviously, you could have a PDF file. Um, just really, I think there's, yeah, there's only one option here. And what it will do is read the file and bring it in and store the data on the screen for you. And then you can start your data visualization, visualization work. Um, so if we have a look here as well, just as just what I was describing, there is other ways, connectors to Google Sheets, OData or Web Data Connector. But as I said earlier on, that screenshot um, I showed you, if I haven't, I'll show it again. Um, basically, uh, will give you a lot more options, but that's in the professional. This is the public. Um, one other thing to say to you about the public is you need to be careful on is that you're not allowed to upload personally identifiable information. So be very careful what you upload. Um, now I would say to you, um, just I, I'm uploading stuff here. Um, it's obviously not personal identifying information, but I won't be publishing it. So um, all I'll be doing for the purpose of these videos is keeping it local. Um, obviously, the uploading and um, disclosure of personal information is really, really important if you're actually going to publish it. Because to publish it means um, with the Tableau Public that it is basically viewable, viewable for everybody who uses Tableau and who has access to view it. Okay. So let's actually just, just connect in here, right? So we've looked at this along here at the connect here. You can also go in this way, okay? And here it gives you the same, it gives you the options. Obviously, this is what we were chatting about earlier on. Here you can see on the screen, there's all the different, um, basically, file types that you can access. And uh, we're just gonna do a, a file that I have already used uh, before and used in other videos. Um, and it's just called a raw file. And I can click open. So basically what happens here is when a Tableau brings in your data, right? It looks at all the different sheets, okay? And then it, within those sheets, it looks at all the different pieces of data, okay? So, you know, it depends really what you're doing, but uh, when you are using a file, if you've more than one sheet, when you bring it into Tableau, you need to understand 
um, where or what tab your data is on. So I know I have two here, but I'm just gonna bring in data here, okay? There you go. So what Tableau now has done is it's read in all the data from the raw file, found the data tab. And what it does do as well, just a very brief introduction, is it essentially, as it's reading in every piece of data, it also assigns different data types um, to the actual piece of data in the columns. So it's very sophisticated like that. It's able to recognize um, different data and different data types. So perfect example there is order data. Okay, so that is very quickly an introduction to how would you connect your data. Um, to summarize again, um, you can do it to file open or you can just do connect on the left hand side when you bring it in. Um, in public, as I said, there is uh, limited on the, you, certainly in the files, there's a lot more options, but you can't connect, there's limited on connecting servers. But the screenshot I showed you, there is lots and lots, probably 20 plus different scenarios if you upgrade to professional of connecting into databases and industry-wide databases that people and organizations use all the time. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you've gotten benefit out of it. If you like this video, please uh, like, subscribe, hit the share button, tell all your colleagues about it. Uh, we should be doing more now on Tableau. Um, currently doing, um, we've done a lot on Python, SQL, done some work on OR as well. So we're looking to expand the channel out. So the Tableau now is in addition to this um, suite of tutorials. So thanks for coming along. Catch you soon. Look after yourself and stay safe. Take care. Bye.